good morning everyone in today's session we will discuss uh, on finite automata further concepts <coughs> so not a further concepts but uh, we are discussing about lots of example means how we construct the finite automata for the given uh, problems and etc part here so before discussing directly the problemming part let me revise a definition of finite automata so finite automaton or the finite state machine is a five tuple already we discussed that in the previous session so finite automaton or the finite state machine is a five tuple means it consists of five major parameters where the first parameter is the capital q capital q is nothing but the finite set of states and that states we are representing by circle then second parameter we require for designing of our com first compression model as a finite automata is summation. Summation is nothing but we require some input alphabets either in the form of the 0 and 1 or A and B in the form of. Then third parameter of the third tuple is nothing but the Q0. That Q0 is nothing but a starting state of our uh, design term and we call it the initial also state. And we represent the starting or initial state by using circle but uh, before the circle we have to put as a forward arrow. Then fourth is uh, capital A, that capital A uh, with a subset of capital Q, capital Q is nothing but the set of states, means uh, A is nothing but a set of acceptance states, or we call the final state, and that final set uh, is the subset of the set of state here. And the last parameter or the last tuple for our designing of finite automata or the finite automata is nothing but the transition function, and that transition function uh, for the transit from one state to other state by using uh, some input alphabets here. So that's why Q means a set of states and uh, summation nothing but the final alphabets. These two parameters we have to pass as input and we move or the transit from that state to other state or we remain in that state depends on the possibility as well as we call the inputs here. So this is the basic part or we call the definition part of our final in the previous session also we uh, discussed how to how we construct the you know, finite automata of the given problem statement means we represent the finite automata by two ways first is the transition diagram second is transition table also we discussed some examples uh, means the problem statement for the problem statement how we construct the finite automata and etc part some of this problem like the string ending in zero string ending in one one likewise okay so Today's session, we will uh, discuss some further uh, problems. The problem is like that: uh, we have to design the finite automata for the following regular expressions. Means now, in that the problem statement, we have to given, or we are uh, we have to given as a problem statement in the form of the regular expression. And for that regular expression, we have to construct the finite automata for the same year. So how it is now? Okay. So first, uh, sum is nothing but a plus b star. B A A. So this is the our uh, regular expression, and for that regular expression, we have to construct or we have to design the finite automata. So how it is possible? So let we now discuss here. So step by step, we have to choose input alphabets for our, for our discussion purpose. So our input alphabets, as usual, you people are known about that. So the given regular expression. Input uh, sorry, given expression in alphabet is A as well as B. So, for that, we have to take on here set of input alphabet as A and second is B. Okay, so this is our input alphabet. So means for that input alphabet, we have to uh, test each and every uh, step for each and every given that input alphabet. So, this is our input alphabet and given regular expression is likewise means they are given as a plus b star and ending with b and three times a. so this is our given regular expression here means these two part is the given part here so means given alphabet is AB as well as given regular expression A plus B star and B A A. So we have to convert that regular expression in the form of the set of strings here. So how it is possible? So a regular expression is vice versa means we have to replace that uh, round parenthesis by curly brackets A as it is 
that plus by comma be as it is then this round parenthesis by curly brackets and this sorry this uh, round parenthesis by curly brackets b a a a okay so this is our regular language but in simply word format so how it convert into set of strings so after the analysis of this regular language we are aware about that okay? b a is the ending part of each and every string and starting is in any in the sense either a either b or summation or we call combinations of this means the first thing of our set is nothing but the b a a getting it will be start from a but end will be a b a b likewise start with b but end in b a a okay so each and every string should be end with b a a f okay means we have to now design a final automata of strings ending with b three times a f okay so how now so let we have to design that automata we have to start by using our uh, starting state and here is our starting state which is q0 so we have to now design the final automata for the strings ending with b a a means the first character of that string is nothing but the b a. means we are in the state q0 by b we have to move next state and next state will be our q1 state okay now for a we go to the q2 state from the q2 and by input a we move to q3 and from the q3 by input we move to last part is nothing but our qa q is nothing but our acceptance means the b three times a the state uh, sorry string is in our language it is easily acceptable by this our uh, final automata here and this is the basic structure of our design part and in that the basic structure we received here four or five states here okay that the first is q0 and last is qb intermediate is q1 q2 q3 here okay so now we have to test for each and every state for the a as well as the b here so let me start from the starting the starting state as a q0 okay so in q0 in q0 already we check for the input for the b remains as a okay so for the a e we transit from q0 to q1 by a then the possibility of accepting string a a a a is possible here means the string ending with a a is acceptable here as well as string b a is as, uh, also acceptable as well as four times a also acceptable and it is not part of our language here means four times a is not acceptable or it is not a part of our language so that's why we are not make a transition from q0 to q1 by using input in okay so that's why we have to keep a in q0 only means we have to transit a for here only okay so we have to focus only string ending with b three times a here remember one thing that we have to focus string ending with b a a a only here. okay so for q0 already we tested a as well as the b here now we have to move q1 q1 already we tested a remains as a b so what we should uh, what do we do for the b here okay so b we have to move to q2 okay we have to check the possibility okay b but the string b b a a also acceptable and it is not part of our language so that's why this transition is also not part of our discussion so what do we do okay b if we put here is only then what chances will be 
B if the string is like that B B A A A acceptable means B B and three times A acceptable no because the ending with B A A starting doesn't matter means the B B B B A A A A okay so this is our uh, means this transition is possible so for the Q1 B A already find it. for the Q2 so in the Q2 already we discussed about A remains B so if we transit B here only then B A B A A A string also acceptable no means if we are making transition here for the B then the string B A B A A also acceptable and is not part of our language if we push the B is a transition to forward here yeah? then B A B A also acceptable is not part of our language here yeah? so these two solutions is not workable here so find what we do now so where we make a transition for the B as a looping part so that state we have to pass B here from that state here so for the Q2 A as well as B4 now we have to make Q3 so Q3 same if we are doing b here then the string acceptable as b a a b a okay if we move to forward then b a a b also acceptable so it is also not workable so possibility is that we have to move to where we means loopingly uh, we um, take input for the b that uh, state we have to push the from the Q3 to Q1 by using B. So this is our workable transition. Last is QA. That the QA uh, for A. What do we do? If A is here only, means in that state only, then what is the drawback? The string B four times also acceptable. So it is not workable solution. So we have to move that. A from this state to where we loopingly making the transition. So we have here. What about B? If we are to B here is then the problem is like that. The string B A A A B also acceptable. It is also not our uh, part of our language. So what we do? We have to make a transition from this to this where we be loopingly transit. Okay, so in this design, no uh, other state we got interested. So this is our final structure of our uh, final automata. It consists of five tuple, sorry, five uh, states. In that the Q0 is our starting state and Q4, QA is our acceptance state. This QA is also the subset of this uh, transition a diagram. It's a sub subset of uh, these states as well as the Q0 is our starting state here. Okay. So, so this is our workable solution. How it is possible? So let me check one uh, string. So this is our string B A A, and now we have to test this string is acceptable or recognized by this machine or not here. So we are in Q0 state. We read first alphabet from the string is B. Then we have transit from Q0 to Q1 according to our transition. Now we are in Q1 state. We read A as a string here. Then we have to also transit from Q1 to Q2 because this is the transition part here. So in Q2, we read third character as A. We have to transit from Q2 to Q3 according to our transition here. Now we are in Q3 and we have to read the last character of our string is A. We have to also transit from Q2 to QA. Okay. So we are in QA state and the, our string part is over. If the string part is over and we are in the final state, then we call it B. This string means the given string is A recognized by that our final automata here. So in our example B A is acceptable here. Okay. So let me take second example. This string. Okay. We are in Q0 state. We read the first character A. We have to remains in that state only. Okay. Second character B and we are in Q0 state. So the transition from Q0 to Q1 we have. Likewise we are in Q1 reading as A we Q2 in Q2 we read A we are in Q3 we are in Q3, we read A, we are in QA state. String is over and we are in state QA. 
that means this string is recognized by this other final value. So which string is not accessible here? So consider the string likewise. Likewise means a b a two times a. So now we have to discuss either this uh, given string is accessible or not. We are in Q0 state. Obviously, our human brain easily find out it is not acceptable. But how machine is recognized? Okay, we are in Q0 state. We read the first character A. We remain in that state here. Now we are in Q0 state. We read B. We transit from Q0 to Q1. We are in Q1. We read three other character A. We have to transit from Q1 to Q2. Now we are in Q2 state. And we read the last character of our string is A. Then we have to transit from Q2 to Q3. Now string is over. And we are in Q3 state. So after the ending or after the reading whole string and we are not in a final state, then easily we see that this string is not recognized by the, our automata and it is not part of our regular language. Getting or not here? So this string is not part of this language and it is our correct design. Okay. So this is our the proper solution of our first example as a uh, string use ba uh, what is the example this example is the strings ending with b triple times a so what is transition diagram sorry transition table is your uh, i think that's the fourth part but we have to try to solve here only so this is our transition diagram So here is our state as Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, QA. Okay. And which are the two inputs? A as well as the B. Okay, we are in Q0, Q0 state and we using for the way then we remain in that state only so it's a q0 we are in q0 state we read as a b then we have to move for the transit from q0 to q1 we are in q1 state we read a we have to move q2 we are in q1 and we read b we remain in that state only we are in q2 state we read a then we have to move q3 we are in q2 state we read uh, b we remain in that state only we are in Q3 state, we read uh, A, then we have to move QA and Q3, we have to move Q1, we are in QA and read A, then we move transit to Q0 and for the B, we have to move Q1. So this is our transition table, this is our transition diagram for our respective uh, problem. Okay, so what is the second? I hope you people are understood now. <clears throat> okay, second example is a plus b star a b or plus b b a or a plus b star a. So it is also a simple example here because in this example we are not <clears throat> okay, so what is our example? A plus B star, A B or B B A or A plus B star means this example is also one base of two alphabets which are those two alphabets okay which are these two alphabets a as well as b means summation is nothing but a as well as the b okay and what is our uh, regular expression given regular expression is i hope you people are a plus B star 
ab plus sorry for inconvenience b b a and last party and last a plus b star yes so this is our regular expression and so what about its regular language now so the starting part of this regular expression is a or b or star likewise the ending part is also a plus b star the starting as well as the ending of the each and every string of our regular language is any but middle part of each and every string is either a b or b b a means the regular language consists the strings is likewise the string consists either a b or b b a either starts from a but it consists a b it starts from a contains a b or ends with b likewise it starts from a consists b b a likewise starts with b but consists b b a or it starts from a contains b b a or ends with b so such a kind of a string is a part of our regular language it okay, means it consists either a b or b b a or it starts from a a b or it starts from a ends with b but it consists a b likewise it starts from a but it consists b b a likewise this each and every string contains a b or b b a doesn't matter starting doesn't matter ending okay but it contains a b or b b a so such a kind of a string is a part of our regular language and we have to design here the final automata for the same thing means the string recognize uh, sorry string contains a b or b b a that strings part recognized by our final automata or not so this design or this recognition now we have to show by using transition diagram so we have to start from starting part as q 0 okay so now we have to start uh, for the two ways means two ways either ab or bb means now we have to take the two transition from the our starting part means first transition for the a, uh, a input because a b or b b a means this string star, uh, first string is start from the a and the second string start from the b a so for the a as well as the b we have to transit for the new state here because the string contains either a b or b b a means in the a b string first character a and for the b b a first character is b means from the starting state we have to transit for a as well as the b a okay so for the b we move to the other step it will be our q2 now we are in q1 and q2 now now we have to go from this way a the second is a b second is a b so now it is our final state qa okay so now we have to discuss for the bba so from the q2 we require one more intermediate state as q3 and from that we have to join final state as q by a so it is now basic structure of our uh, uh, final automata which will be recognized as strings either ab or bb it contains now we have to test for each and every state for the a as well as the pm i think you people are uh, getting all these concepts okay? now we are in q0 state already we tested for a as well as b now we are in q1 and already we tested for the b it remains as a then what do we do for a what do we do for the a for the a we have to remain in that state or we have to move i think that we have to remain in that state only we have to remain in that state means we are remains in that the q1 state as it is by the a 
okay for the q1 a as well as the b1 now we have to q2 b b a what about for a because already we tested for the b a is present if we are moving a here only then the string is acceptable for uh, b a b a also so it is not workable so we have to just erase for that so what we do now so where we loop the a we have to pass from this state to this state by a okay so for the q2 as well as b will be tested we are in q3 state only we tested for a remains as the b so what do we do for b we have to move b here only why it is because the string like four times sorry four times b and plus a so it consists b b a part s so that's why i am uh, repeated here b only means making loop of b here only okay so for the q3 already we process a as well as b now remains as a qv so what about the qv qv we have to also test for the a as well as b because it is our uh, final state doesn't matter final state but we have to check for a as well as b so what do we do for a as well as b ending part should be either a b or nothing means in that state itself only we have to move a as well as b because we are not interested for the ending as well as the starting we have to interest only for e b side and b b a side we are not interested for ending as well as the starting part okay so check each and every state having to input s I think that in our transition diagram we receive five states in that the QB is our final state and Q0 is our starting state and remains Q1, Q2, Q3 are intermediate states here. So this is our design here. Now we have to check either the string is acceptable or not here. So check for A B part here. So we are in Q0, we will A, we move from Q0 to Q1. We are in Q1, we will the second character B, we move from Q1 to final state here means now our AB string is over and we are in final state means the uh, AB string is accepted same for we have to be B we are in Q0 first will be we move Q2 in Q2 we will second character B we move to Q3 we are in Q3 we will final character A we move Q0 after the reading last character of our given string we are present in final state means BB is also acceptable what about AAB we are in Q0 state, we will first character, we move Q1. Q1 will be second character as A, we remain itself. In Q1 will be last character B, we move from Q1 to final state, means A, B also acceptable. Okay, so means this is our correct design of uh, correct problem here. Means string containing either A, B or B, B, A. So according to that transition diagram, you people have to uh, try to construct a transition table here. And this is the part we take. I hope you people are understood how, how we design the parameter that recognizes string contains either AB or BB. Okay. So this is our second uh, example of our first question. So what about this question number six? Okay. So design the FA for the following segments over the one epsilon. So it is an interesting part here. So in question number second, first sum is strings with an even number of zeros and an odd number of ones. What is the strings with an even number of zeros and odd number of one? So the given part of input character epsilon is now our zero and one okay so which string is now our regular language part strings with even number of zeros and odd number of one means double zero single one even number of zeros odd number of one double zero triple one is also part of our language then double zero 5 times 1 is also part then 4 times 0 single time 1 is also part 
Likewise, means the combinations like a 0, 1, 0 is also part. Then 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 is also part here. Means each and every string contains even number of zeros and odd number of ones. Okay. So we have to now design the automata which accept those string only. Means it consists even number of zeros and odd number of ones. So for that purpose, now we have to try another solution. Another solution can come here. So we have to take our starting state here. So for the starting state, now we have to now not give any name as a cube zero here. So which name we have to now here? So name of that state is nothing but even number of zeros and even number of one means. In that state contains even number of zeros and even number of ones. Here. Means what here? Likewise, double zero, double one. Here. Okay, so this is our starting state here. Even number of zeros and even number of ones. Now for that starting state, we have to check zero as well as one. Okay, let me start for the zero. Okay, so if we add one more zero, then the count will be now very here means it becomes odd number of zeros and even number of ones means we are given input as a zero then our machine or the our fsm moves from this state to other state but that state consists even number of sorry which even number of sorry odd number of zeros and even number of one Okay, get it or not? So for that zero, if we add the zero, the number of zeros becomes as odd and number of ones remains as it is. Means even number of ones or number of zeros. So now we have to test for the one here. Okay, for the one means here. Okay, for the one purpose, if we add one here, then the count of one vary now here. Means odd number of ones and even number of zeros here means we have to transit here only and that state contains what contains even number of zeros as it is and odd number of one as it is here yes or no even number of zeros and odd number of ones here. okay so for that state for the zero we receive another state for the one we receive another state so for that new state also we have to check 0 as well as 1 here. So it is the count likewise. Even number of uh, sorry, odd number of zeros means here 3 times 0 is here and 2 times 1 is here. And here is uh, even number of 0 means 2 times 0 and 3 times 1 is here. Now we are in this state. Now we have to check likewise here 0 as well as 1. If we are giving as a zero as input, then the count of zeros varies, means it becomes even, and for the ones so remains as it is, means even number of zeros and even number of ones, so means it comes back to this state here by zero. What about one? Okay, we add extra one here, then it becomes odd number of zeros and odd number of ones, and here is no that state, so we have to create another new state here. That state for the one purpose for one purpose we have to create extra state and that extra state will be our odd number of zeros and odd number of ones here. okay so for the this state we tested zero as well for this case uh, sorry, state also we have to check 0 as well as 1. Now, in this state, it consists odd number of uh, ones and even number of zeros. If we add one extra zero, I means we test for the zero, then it becomes odd number of zeros and odd number of ones by given zero. Yes or no? Yes. So, what about one? If we add extra one, then the count of one vary means it becomes a zero. Count of zeros remains as st uh, steady means even number of zeros and even number of ones means the state where even number of zeros and even number of ones that will be our 
fine uh, remaining uh, means upcoming state okay so for that also we tested for 0 the 0 1 now one more extra state we received here this is nothing but odd number of zeros and odd number of ones yeah. <coughs> for this test also uh, state also we have to check for the resolution if we give input as a one more zero then the count of zeros also vary means even number of zeros and odd number of ones even number of zeros and odd number of ones share the state we have to transit from this test to this state yeah. not received any uh, new state likewise if we add extra one then it becomes as odd number of zeros and even number of ones means here is the state so now no more extra state that we receive so this is our uh, final structure we receive here so so in that which is our final state now so our final state is even number of zeros and odd number of ones where the even number of zeros and odd number of ones get this this test this state is now our final state that uh, we get the other side here this is our final state now. So how it is? So let me check one example. So this is our string. We are in current uh, starting state. In this state, we will zero. We come to state. In this state, we will zero. We come back to the state. Zero. This state. Then zero. This state. And after we move from this state one, we are in this state and our state zero. Means we are in final state and the number of zeros are given and number of zeros are odd. Okay. Let me check this another state. We are in starting state with 0, we will move to this state. In the state, we will next time from 0, we will move to current state. In the state 1, we will move to this state, then we will 0, then we will move to this state, then 0. After the ending of this screen, we will find the next state. Okay. Okay, let one more example. So this string is not part of our language. Or it will be given back. How do you know? When we start with it, we will first add to remove this string. So this state. In that state, we will create a second character. Remove in that state. In that state, we will first correct, uh, third character one. Remove this state. In that state, we will another, I mean, uh, final, we call it now. Last character will be removed from this state. Even number of ones. This is not part of this after the ending or after the ending this string we are in different state which is not in our final state. So that's why we call it in our previous part. Okay. Infinite question will be asked here to uh, find our design the country of even number of the number of ones. Same with the alternative here, but different. Likewise, question will be asked here on number of the Same design will be there, but the final state is the question is asked on number of the number of the same design will be there, but the final state is answer answer. If the question is asking even number of A's and even number of A's and odd number of B's, okay, means we just replace 0 for the A and 1 for the B. All the means as question will be different. Our design will be same but different accepting states. Okay, I will give you a lot more about this. Okay, I will give you a lot of any doubt, contact me. Okay, and the last sum is particular. Schemes of that uh, topic, and I hope you people easily can do all this. Okay, so today's session we will. Uh,
Так, где? Вот это написано. 